All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Good evening, Transitioning Together Class of 2020 seniors, mentors, families, and any other friends or supporters that may be in attendance. We're thrilled that you're here to celebrate with us this evening. We really didn't want to miss the opportunity to celebrate you and all that you've accomplished over the past 18 months. We wanted to start the program with an opening uh, with a message from Newton North High School principal and two-time T2 mentor, Dr. Henry Turner. Thank you, Ms. Hall. Welcome everyone to this wonderful event. I wish we were all in the same room um, uh, as this is a joyous occasion, but I am just uh, so impressed about how we have made this a joyous occasion from a virtual location. Uh, my understanding is that all of you have hopefully some pizza in front of you um, brought to you by the T-squared family. Um, I have to say that is the most creative solution to our virtual uh, graduation end of year celebration that I have heard. So uh, uh, of course uh, T-squared is stepping it up which is uh, really impressive. Um, <clears throat> I want to start by just, I uh, would be remiss to not acknowledge that there's a hard time, this is a hard time uh, right now in our, um, our world, in our country, uh, and, and locally. Um, the um, coronavirus is having a lot of impact on um, uh, our community and our families in Newton. Um, and the killing of George Floyd um, had a um, has had a significant impact on our country and um, has uh, been one in which um, has led to protests and um, activism um, but also is one in which um, we need to remember his um, remember him um, remember his family and um, so yesterday I was um, at a uh, rally in remembrance of his, his life and um, the um, minister asked um, at the event, asked us to kneel for eight minutes and 46 seconds, which was the amount of time that um, the police officer's knee was on George Floyd's neck. And so um, what I'm going to um, ask, I know that for, um, I know I'm, I'm imagining, well, I can't see your faces, I'm imagining for uh, many of you, this is something that's on your mind, is that I thought that it would be appropriate for this event um, for us to do a moment of silence in honor of George Floyd. Um, and, um, instead of eight minutes and 46 seconds, I'm going to do it for half that time. Um, and what I would ask is that um, during that moment of silence is that um, you reflect on the amount of time that, um, that this is. And so with that, if we can take a moment of silence.
Thank you. So that was half the amount of time um, that we were kneeling yesterday. And it was, um, for me, a very powerful moment of being able to um, envision how long that was. And I think a demonstration of why so many people are angry. Um, what I would say to you all is that your leadership, the students, your leadership is needed more now than it's ever been before. Your, your generation is one that we're going to need to help make our country, to help make our world better. And you have already demonstrated the ability, the willingness, the grit, the tenacity, that you are incredible human beings with great leadership skills. You have spent the last year and a half proving to a lot of people who have doubts that you can do this. And you did it with the support of your families, the support of your mentor, the support of, your, of the educators here, but people who know that you can do it. And so my short message to you is rely on the people who care about you. And as I think as Taylor Swift says, haters are gonna hate. Ignore them. Focus on the people who care about you and do the right thing and demonstrate your leadership to help make this world, this country, a better place. I am so proud of you all. You're gonna be so successful in your college careers. You have continued the, the, the path for others and that 100% of you are heading to college. I could not be more proud. This is without a doubt my favorite program of Newton North because you all exceed expectations time and time again. And so I just wanna thank you for making our school better. Thank you for making us proud. Um, and I wanna thank your um, T-squared team because they are a very special team. Um, they are um, they are an incredible group and I just wanna thank them for all their hard work and um, from, from just instantly getting T-squared um, up and running um, during uh, COVID-19. So they did an incredible job with that. So anyway, thank you very much and congratulations to all of our graduates. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Turner. Even though we cannot physically be together tonight, we hope that throughout this program, you're able to feel the love and pride that we have for each and every one of you. When I think back on when we started the program, back on a cold night, it was in the winter, January of 2019, we could have never predicted that, would be, that we would be ending like this in a virtual celebration. I can say with confidence that the T2 class of 2020 will be remembered fondly and as a group with an immense amount of strength and courage. Tonight, you're gonna get to hear from Ms. Hannenberger, Mr. Medio, and Ms. Garrity, and then we'll end the program with a video honoring and thanking both the mentees and mentors. So sit back, enjoy your pizza, and I'd like to turn the program over to our fearless leader, Ms. Hannenberger. Thank you so much, Ms. Hall, and thank you, Dr. Turner. And thank all of you for being here tonight virtually, mentors, mentees, and family members. It is hard to believe that this college application journey over the past 18 months has come to a close. Now, every single one of you has a post-secondary option that you can be proud of. 100% of you were accepted into at least one college. This is truly an extraordinary accomplishment, and we are so happy for you. I want to extend a special thank you to our T-Squared mentors who have given of themselves in a way like no other volunteer position. Your countless hours of dedication and devotion have helped guide your mentees throughout this extremely challenging process. And you have put your mentee on an upward trajectory for life. 
I also want to thank our T-squared team for everything that they did to get this to this point with the class of 2020. Jillian Hall, our amazing programming coordinator, who created a fantastic lineup of speakers and topics for every one of our monthly large group meetings. She's now seamlessly adjusted to virtual webinars and meetings, and we greatly appreciate everything she has done. Thank you, Jillian. Mm -hmm. Brendan Amedio, our fantastic alumni coordinator, who you will now just start to really work with, and you will hear from him tonight and how he will continue to work with you as a college student. Thank you, Brendan. Jen Garrity, our mentee coordinator extraordinaire, for all of her dedication and communication with our mentees and families, her emails, remind texts, phone calls, and dedication to this program is amazing. Thank you, Jen. And thank you, T-Squared team. I now want to give our T-Squared graduates four pieces of advice. Please know that we all recognize that you have experienced a great loss. Your senior spring and high school graduation were taken away from you uncontrollably. A graduation that your family had dreamed about since you started kindergarten back in September 2007. The class of 2020, you were destined for greatness. Well, that greatness has not been taken away. It is your courageous response to this loss, to this adversity that builds your character. You will take this experience and bring it with you to college and you will work even harder for the graduation that you deserve, a college graduation that will be the first in your family. Number two, please know that Newton North ha has prepared you well. Our students come back year after year and tell us over and over again that they handled college classes and their new independence just fine, oftentimes even better than their classmates. North's academic program has made you the student that you are today, ready to take on challenges presented to you. You are your own advocate and advocate for yourself and never stop. Number three, please know that you belong at your college, just like everyone else there. You were given this amazing opportunity, now take advantage of it. Every day, tell yourself that you deserve to be there and make the most of it. Your education is something that no one can ever take away from you. It is yours to keep forever, so please make the most of it. And lastly, never forget where you came from. Your family, your upbringing, your traditions, they have all made who you are today, and they will always have your back. In addition, the T-squared team is here for you. We will always be here for you, and if we can't help you, we will help you find someone who can. So now is your time to fly. Congratulations and best of luck to all of you. Thank you, Ms. Hannenberger. I'd now like to invite Mr. Medio up to speak with you all. Mr. Medio is gonna discuss his role as the T2 alumni coordinator and what you can expect to hear from him and staying connected in the future. He'll share some tips with you and has some information about an alumni panel that will be coming your way. Mr. Emidio. Thank you, Ms. Hall. I first wanna say congratulations for the families, the mentors uh, watching us right now. Just give your mentee a round of applause. This is no easy accomplishment to do to graduate high school. Um, so I'm really proud of you. Uh, it, it's, it's an amazing opportunity. When I think about my role as the T-squared uh, alumni coordinator, I sit back and I reflect upon my own high school experience and how I too uh, am a first generation college or was a first generation college student. I was the first in my family to go to college and graduate. The experience in college was just very similar to high school. It was, it was stressful for me. It was, full, it was a roller coaster full, full of ups, ups and downs. When I think how I got through it, I think back to the family, the friends, the support team that I had in high school helped me get through my time in college. There's going to be difficult things that you come up with, whether it be a class, personal situations, financial situations, that stuff will come up as you go through this experience, but know 
you have that support team. You started it 18 months ago here at Newton North. You still have your mentor. You still have myself, Ms. Hannenberger, Ms. Hall, Ms. Garrity. You have your school counselor that's always gonna work for you. I think back to graduating from college, May 12th, 2012. And I think back to what a fantastic feeling it was. Nothing brought me more pride than walking across that stage, taking that diploma from my college president and knowing I did it. I did it myself and I did it with the support of those who love me. And I knew that it was hard and that that's what made it feel so much greater is how hard it was to get there. But I did it. And I know that because I did it, I know all of you can do it. There's no doubt in my mind at all. Throughout the next four, five, six, seven, eight years, I think we're currently on six years for the first graduating class of transitioning together. Uh, that was the class of 2014, which was, I don't know the exact number, but around like 12 to 15 students. Um, so they started hearing from me when I took over this role from Mr. Labetz, and they've continuously heard from me. Um, so when you say hear from, hear from Mr. Media, what do, we, what do you mean by that? I mean a few different things. So the first thing you'll hear from me is actually right after um, this ceremony and you'll get a letter from me kind of introducing myself and you'll get a, a letter full of tips and websites you can visit that will be very helpful. Um, especially over these next three to four months as we transition to life after high school. Then you really see me around the first week of October or so, because what happens that first week of October? <laughs> FAFSA. So the, the FAFSA will open and we want you to be prepared. We want you to be ready so that you can uh, fulfill that information, put that out into your financial aid office, get the support that you need to from us, get the support you need to from your college or to go to uh, financial aid days, whether they be at the Boston Public Library or even at your school. That'll be the first time you hear from me. Other times you'll hear from me are going to be around the end of November as I invite you to our Transition Together alumni breakfast that we are now holding the first, second week of January or so. We like to, we like to host this um, as a way of giving back to you for the thanks that you all have provided us with these experiences, but also as a way to keep the connection going. We like to hear what you're doing. We like to hear how the experience has been at college, those challenges that you're going through so that we can help. It's also just a great time to be thankful and to sit back and relax and, and enjoy each other's company and for you to meet the current uh, Transitioning Together class, as well as some of the other alumni, whether it be from the same year as you, from two years who graduated before you, all these different opportunities that you have, we like to keep you, uh, keep you a part of. The next time you'll hear from me um, is around the middle of March or so, as we get, again, closer to like the deadline of FAFSA, so reminding you of the deadline, but I'll also be um, reaching out to see who would be interested in participating in alumni panel. The alumni panel you'll see later uh, tonight, um, or at your convenience, of course, uh, is going to feature Filippo Minozzi and Mia Hippolyte, who graduated in the class of 2019, so just around this time last year. Then you'll also hear from uh, Tamika and Darla Burnett, who graduated in 2018. And then Tommy Shaw, who graduated in 2017. So you'll get to hear about their experiences. And I love these opportunities to get to know students. Fortunately for me, I knew all, all these students very well. Um, but there are some times that I don't, don't know the students. And it, gets, it gives me the opportunity to get to know someone in a different light, especially hearing from their different experiences um, at their college. We also do a transitioning together uh, newsletter twice a year. And I'm always looking for 
students to participate in the spotlight. So perhaps it's October and I'm reaching out to see if anyone's interested and we hear about the great things that you're already doing on campus just two months into your college experience. Because we know based off of this senior class that you all are going to be so fully involved when you get on campus that you're gonna be doing great things and you're gonna wanna share about those great things two, three months into the show. So be prepared to hear from me a lot. You'll, you might get annoyed by my emails and that's okay. Um, and if you need something from me throughout the time, you can contact me individually. Um, give my cell phone number out as well. So anything that you need. So before I close up, I wanna give some tips um, to have a hopefully successful time in college, whether that take you two years at a, at a community college, whether that be four years, whether that be five years doing a five-year program, six years doing a PhD program, all the great things that you have the opportunity to do. So the first thing I'm going to say, one, step out of your comfort zone. Do something new. I think back to my college experience and I think of how in high school I was more reserved. I didn't do a lot of things other than uh, what my friends did. I stepped out of my comfort zone and I established really great relationships and skills. I think that was the biggest thing. It established skills within me to help me pursue the career that I wanted to pursue in education. It gave me that wisdom. It gave me that strength to be able to go out into the real world. Two, make connections. I want you to make connections with your peers, with your faculty members. You're going to hear something about this a little later in the alumni panel from our, one of our panelists about making connections with professors, with their, with their peers. Why I think this is important, when you are graduated from college, when you're looking for a job, you might know somebody, someone might know you, they might be able to say, hey, hey, Brandon, I have this job, you'd be a great fit for it. If you make those connections, you won't know of those opportunities. Think of it as building that network. Um, whether it be for a professional or for social reasons, making connections is huge. Meet people that you will, would never have met in your life. So important. Number three, take advantage of opportunities. There are so many opportunities on, on college campuses, alternative spring breaks, uh, becoming a resident director, which has the financial per, uh, resident assistant, which has the financial perks of not having to pay for room and board. Take advantage of the student government. Take advantage of the clubs and organizations. Be student leaders on your campus. There are so many opportunities there. Studying abroad. When you get to become a 25, 26, 30 year old like me, and I think back to the things that I did in, in college, I'm so proud of it. And I think of the opportunities that some of my peers didn't, didn't take advantage of, like studying abroad. And now we're 30 years old and we can't just get up and move across the country. We can't go up and go study in Spain for four months. Take advantage of the opportunities and know that there's financial assistance for all this. In addition to financial assistance, go to the financial aid office, make friends with the financial aid office. There are so many opportunities in terms of school-based scholarship that are available once you are a student on campus that aren't available when you are applying to college um, as your 12th grade in high school. Take advantage of those opportunities. I think back, I took advantage of so many of those opportunities where I went. I went to the financial aid office, I kind of begged, I applied, I wrote essays, and I ended up with a presidential scholarship there and I didn't have to pay very much for my college tuition because of those, because I took advantage of that. So don't be ashamed, they're there to help, so take advantage. Five, enjoy every step of the way. The four years, the five years, the six years, it goes by so quickly. Uh, if there's, I would give anything to be back in college for a variety of reasons. Um, so enjoy every step of the way. Take it in. Treat every day like it's a new day. It is a new day. Uh, but treat every day like it's your last. Five, keep in touch. Keep in touch with the Newton North team whether it be the transitioning to the other team, but I also want to emphasize those teachers that you establish bonds with, they, you ask them to write recommendation letters. You ask that they're part of your journey, journey. They want to hear back from you. They want to hear the great things that you're doing. Keep in touch with your school counselor. Same thing, they had you for four years. They want to know 
what the next four years are like. Most importantly, keep in touch with your mentor. Your mentor has been a part of your life for the last 18 months and it doesn't end tonight. It's going to go on. You let them into your life. You have, some of you had dinner at their houses. They want to help. They want to be a part of your life. Shooting a text message every few months or so, letting them know how things are, means the world to them. And finally, be thankful. You are blessed with this opportunity to be a first generation co college student. Not many people get the opportunity. So enjoy, again, enjoy every step of the way. Say thank you. Say thank you to your parents. Say thank you to your loved ones. Say thank you to your guardians. Say thank you to the, your professors every step of the way. Because at the end of the day, when you walk across that stage on that May sunny day in 2024, <laughs> bad at math over here, when you walk across that stage in 2024, you're going to think back to all those people um, and you're going to be, be so happy that you said thanks. That's it from me. You'll hear, enjoy, and enjoy the alumni panel again at your convenience. Um, and again, congratulations. You all did amazing, amazing things. Um, and I look forward to working with you over the next chapter of your life. Awesome. Thank you so much, Mr. Emidio. And to you know all you students out there listening, I cannot echo enough everything that Mr. Emidio said. He just articulated so many of our thoughts so well. Um, up next, we have a very special video to celebrate all the accomplishments and just how amazing the T-squared class of 2020 is. Um, so once Ms. Hannenberger shares her screen to show the video, I have one suggestion just to make the viewing a little easier. Um, once she shares the screen, up at the top of your screen, it should say view options and you can choose to hide the speaker panel just so that our uh, block zoom blocks here aren't taking up the screen. Um, so without further ado, I'd like to turn it over to Ms. Kannenberger for the video. school graduate now congratulations i am so proud of you you've worked really hard for this you've come a long way and now you're here this is your shining moment i hope you enjoy it and i'm very excited you're going to be mass boston this summer and this fall i adore you and i am so impressed and so is lucy see Say congratulations to Alan. Hello, everyone. My name is Pierre Allen Belcher. I am a T squared mentee, and my mentor is Sarah and Drake. I could not have asked for a better mentor. Like, clearly, nah. <laughs> She's always there for me. She's always been. She also looks after me and everything I've done, and also 
with the college, not not only with the college process, but for everything. And really without her and the T-Square community, I don't think I would have been able to come this far, like at all. And I wanna say thank you so much for everything, for everyone. I love you so much, Sarah. Daniel is going to UMass this fall. I wish you a wonderful college experience. It can shape your future. Join groups and get involved with outside activities, but don't forget to study. Congratulations. I'm so excited to see you go to UMass Dartmouth. It's such a great opportunity and it's been so special getting to know you. Congratulations. of Tiffany. And Tiffany, I just want to say a huge congratulations. I am so proud of you heading off to Simmons College Nursing. That is your first choice school. And while nursing programs are so competitive and you had a wide list, you still wound up at your top choice spot. No surprise because you have worked so hard at Newton North and you put so much into the application process. And I'm excited to see what the future holds for you. Congratulations. Congratulations on graduating from Newton North High School. I have always been impressed with, with you. Working with you has been a pleasure. You're always so focused, hardworking, and positive. I'm sure you're going to flourish at BU. I wish you and the rest of the T-squared students the best of luck.
congratulations, class of 2020. I'm so proud of you and all your hard work. I'm excited for you to start at St. John's and you've got to keep me posted about the dorms. Okay, love you. Hi, Danny. I just want to say that I'm really proud of all the things you've accomplished so far, and I'm looking forward to all the things that you will do at UMass Amherst. I'm so excited for you to start college, and I hope you have a great summer celebrating. Congratulations. Hello, Nathan. I want to congratulate you on your acceptance and going to the University of Rhode Island. Um, it's been a wonderful, long, and at times difficult trip down academic lane, but I look forward to seeing you graduate from college. I know based on what I know about you that you are going to be very successful, and I wish you the best of luck. And anytime you need help, you know you can call me and I'll be there for you. so happy that you are graduating and I'm so it's been my great privilege and honor to accompany you through this journey of the college application process. I am so looking forward to hearing about your success at UMass Boston. You are so strong and so smart and so amazing. Tus padres deben estar muy orgullosos de ti. So felicitaciones otra vez y hasta la vista. Um, I'm sending this message to Kim, and I just wanted to say how much I enjoyed working with you this year and how proud, proud I am of what you accomplished. And um, I think it's really great that you made the choice to, um, to go to Mass Bay. I think it's going to be a really good thing for you. And, um, and I know that it was, a, it was a difficult decision to make, so I really respect that, and I think that, um, that it's going to be really good. So best of luck with everything, and I hope that, um, that I get a chance to see you again soon. Bye.
On January 22nd, 2019, I showed up at Newton North High School to meet my new mentee, Christina. I had had a really horrible day, so it was a breath of fresh air to meet with Christina. She was so cute with her hair and two little buns on the top of her head and her broken glasses taped up in the middle. She told me right then and there about her desire to be a nurse or a health educator and how much she loves working with children. As we went through the college application process together, I had no doubt that Christina would be successful in her search. And she was, gaining acceptance to many wonderful universities in the Boston area. And most importantly, she was accepted to her first choice, Simmons University, where she will be attending in the fall. Congratulations, Christina. I know you have a hugely bright future ahead of you. Congratulations, Hefe, on your acceptance to Babson College. I have no doubt you will be very successful there, given your good work ethic, ability to make friends, and entrepreneurial spirit. I enjoyed getting to know you this past year. I was impressed with your ability to think hard about what you wanted to do in your future and your willingness to make a big switch from medicine to business. Best of luck, Hefe, as you start this next exciting chapter of your life. Congratulations to you on your big day, and a congratulations to your family from my whole family. We couldn't be prouder of you and your acceptance to Denison University. Woohoo! You are so deserving of this award. Getting to know you and your family has been a true joy in my life. The strength, love, and support you all share will be a cornerstone for your many successes in the years ahead. Most importantly, I admire your positiv positivity and your hopefulness, which now more than ever will keep you grounded and serve you well over the next four years. So from the bottom of my heart, I'm wishing you all the best wishes, happiness, and love. Congrats again, and please, please, please keep in touch. Love you guys. Woohoo! journey we've been on together, Jazz, you and I, for the last um, 18 months. You came to America about three years ago to pursue your dream of studying graphic design. Not only did you have to learn a new language, but you had to adjust to a new culture and develop your technical drawing skills and your art style, and you did it. Congratulations on going to Mass Art, your first choice. I can't wait to see what your future brings and the beautiful drawings and designs that you'll contribute to the world. Congratulations again.
Carolyn. Congratulations on getting into USC. You're going to be great and you deserve all the happiness and everything that you expect from college. Congrats, Bianca, on your high school graduation. I know this is no ordinary graduation with a virtual message, but then again, you're not ordinary either. You are special, Bianca, and hats off to you and all the hard work you have put in over the past four years and particularly 18 months to create amazing opportunities in the future for yourself. You, from day one, when I met you, you had a drive, determination, and focus to make your dreams come true in vet medicine. And I couldn't be more proud of you for that and for everything you accomplished in the classroom and out of the classroom. Um, I wanna say most of all, it has been an absolute joy and honor to be your mentor in the T2 program. You are kind, smart, warm, and deserve everything you have coming to you, which is uh, an amazing future with a great career. I want you to know in my heart it, we will stay in touch and congrats and cheers to you. process and I'm glad I was able to be part of it. I hope you're proud of yourself too. Congratulations and best of luck next year at BSU. Johnny, congratulations on graduating. Congratulations on your acceptance at Tampa. I'm very, very proud of you for both. And I look forward this summer to helping you prepare for college. Dear Jack, thank you so much for being my mentor this year. I cannot thank you enough as you've been one of my biggest supporters throughout this whole entire crazy process. Dear Jack, Dear Jack, thank you so much for being my mentor this year. 
I cannot thank you enough as you've been one of my biggest supporters throughout this entire crazy college process. Thank you so much for teaching me how to think critically for myself and teaching me how to have confidence in myself as well. Hopefully we'll reconnect with each other soon and I'll see you later. Bye. Hi, Julian. I hope you were able to complete your senior reflections okay. And congratulations on getting all your other work and applications and for completing your uh, senior year and being able to graduate. I hope you have a very successful year to come and hope you were able to access sufficient funds so you can continue your education. Congratulations again and best wishes for next year. Bye, Don Ross. authenticity, your intelligence, and your warmth. You're a true rock star. So it's no surprise you crushed it in the college process. I'm blown away by your thoughtfulness and your maturity. You reached out broadly when you heard from colleges and really listened to what people had to say. In the end, you trusted your gut and went with Northeastern because you love it. I hope you continue to follow your instincts and intuition and stay true to yourself. If you do, you'll find whole new areas of interest and talent. The sky's the limit for you, Omar. Enjoy the journey. Congratulations on graduating. Congratulations on your acceptance at Framingham State. And good luck with everything. If I can ever help with anything in college or anything else, please let me know. Congratulations, Priscilla. I'm very proud of you. It's been so wonderful working with you over the past year plus. Uh, very excited to see how you do in the next phase, uh, heading towards Mass Bay, and, uh, and then hopefully eventually, right, UMass of some sort. 
Um, so keep up that wonderful spirit uh, and that sincerity and that uh, that wonderful uh, you know aspect of your personality that I so treasure and I was so glad to be a part of your journey and I hope we continue to stay in touch and I, I'm here to help you anytime you need it so please reach out to me anytime. I want to congratulate my mentee, V. Triu, on her acceptance to Boston University, where she will receive the four-year Richard D. Cohen Scholarship. She's interested in working in the field of physician's assistant, and her superpowers of kindness and compassion, curiosity, and multilingualism will be wonderful assets. I wish her the very best, and I know she's going to do well. Thanks. Is Laura. I am Sammy Yang's mentor. Um, we've known each other about a year and a half now. I feel really, really lucky that I got to be your mentor. Sammy, you've been incredible. It was such an, a pleasure and honor getting to know you. I'm so proud of you for doing all your college application work and for doing so well in high school. Um, congratulations on graduating soon and congratulations on going to BU next year. I know you're going to kill it. Um, good luck in everything you do and definitely keep in touch. proud of you. You are truly a superstar. And I'm so happy that Harvard has seen that superstar quality too. You're going to be the most amazing student there ever. And I hope you stay in touch and remember us little people when you're out there moving mountains and making the world a better place. And congratulations on graduating from high school. What a huge milestone but I know there are many, many more wonderful things coming your way. So Harvard's very lucky to have you as part of their community. So congratulations, yay, and I couldn't be prouder of you. You are just a rock star, that's all. So yay, congratulations. Hi, Maruda, I just wanna say thank you so much for everything that you've 
than to help me. I cannot even express enough gratitude. I'm so happy that I have got to um, spend this college journey with you. And I know that we will keep in touch college, post-college. And I just really hope that I can see you soon. Hi, Casey. I want to wish you congratulations on your graduation. And most of all, for being admitted to your first choice college, I know you're going to be very happy and very successful. So best of luck to you, and I hope you'll stay in touch. Bye. Hi, students. This is Casey. Um, thank you for being my mentor for since the beginning. And without you, I wouldn't be able to accomplish where I am today. And Wow, I have a little bit of a lump in my throat right now. That really, really was amazing. Uh, it's so inspiring to see how strong the mentor and mentee relationships are. Thank you so much to all of you for submitting such personal notes and videos. Um, while we certainly miss the face-to-face -face thank yous and farewells, and certainly the cake we would have had tonight, um, the benefit of having all of this recorded is that we'll be able to watch it over and over again. We'll be sending you a copy of the video, which hopefully will be free of any technical difficulties that Zoom may have brought tonight. Um, so expect that in your email soon. And also, as Mr. Emidio mentioned, we will be sending along the T2 alumni panel for you to watch and hopefully get some inspiration from. It's just amazing to think that at this time next year, we will have some of you as panelists during the closing ceremony. In a year from now, you will have completed your freshman year and you'll be our newest experts on everything related to adjusting to college life, navigating freshman year, and being a first generation student on a college campus. We hope that you stay connected and update us on how everything is going. We are going to miss you. Thank you again for tuning in tonight, for being here, and most importantly, for participating in the T2 program and for making a mark on the Newton North High School community. I know I speak for the entire T2 team when I say that you've made a mark on all of us. Congratulations, class of 2020.